announcements. Alright. Well, we have a lot to do today. There's a lot of news. Um, I guess that we will open the floor for proposals pertaining to new information and pertaining to what we need to do and where we're going to occupy. If we could take staff. Are we combining informal and formal or starting with informal? Uh, well, we'll start with informal. Any, any informal proposal? Alright, we're going straight to formal then. Alright. Oh, yeah. If they've got a knife or scissors on them, I can totally use your help. Alright. Go ahead. You got scissors? I need to talk to you anyway. Come here. Actually, she's got a. She says she's got scissors. Mike, check! Can everybody hear me okay? Can everybody hear me okay? Okay, so just because there's a lot to throw at you, I'm going to operate without mic check if that's cool with everyone. All right, awesome. So, um, there is a newspaper in the city that's been around for 20 plus years called the Richmond Free Press. And uh, they recently issued an article essentially endorsing our movement and saying, hey, we've been doing this for a really long time and we're really glad to see other people joining in. Um, so in addition to that endorsement, the editor, founder, and publisher of the Richmond Free Press, Mr. Ray Boone, has, uh, <laughs> has offered us his front lawn as a private residence to come occupy. Why would we occupy someone's front lawn? Well, he just happens to be the next door neighbor with and share a driveway with Mr. Reverend Mayor Dwight Jones. Yeah. Yeah. Now, so everyone's aware, this is about 30 minutes outside of the, uh, outside of this area. It's down on the south side, but obviously, if that became a reality, we would organize transportation and shuttle services. Um, a couple of us had a meeting with him today and discussed the details of what that involved. He has about three acres. It's all flat and grassy and beautiful. Um, right across the street, so every morning when Mr. Jones wakes up to go to work, <laughs> uh, we would be saying hello and sipping coffee. Hello, Mr. Jones! You know, scratching all of our experiences. It would be quite delightful and a very, very profound message. And this gives us a lot of leverage for what we have to say to Mr. Dwight Jones. Uh, and after meeting with him, uh, those of us in the meeting sort of composed a letter that we would like to bring to the GA for approval. Um, this letter would be sent directly to Mayor Jones, as well as copied to all the press in the city and in the nation that we're working with. And I would like to read that to everyone. <laughs> a message from the General Assembly that occupies Richmond to Mayor Dwight Jones. This is a formal notice that Richmond GA is offering you 24 hours to respond to our demands. Number one, we demand that you authorize the director of Richmond Department of Parks and Recreation, Dr. Norman Merrifield, to issue explicit documented permission under his authority pursuant to section 26.397 of Richmond City Code. And that ordinance, just so everyone's aware, gives the director of Parks and Rec full authority to issue any permission to do anything we want on any city property. So he's kind of the man in that. So explicit permission pursuant to section 26.397B of Richmond City Code. This written authorization should explicitly permit Occupy Richmond to encamp 24 hours a day, seven days a week, without incurring a violation of the following ordinances. Section 26-397A, the Richmond Sunset Clause, and Section 26-390, the Richmond Anti-Encampment Clause. Three, this permission is to be issued in regards to location X. We obviously have to figure out location X. Four, if these demands are not granted within 24 hours, we will indefinitely occupy the private property to which we have been invited by the Richmond Free Press founder, editor, publisher, and civil rights champion, Mr. Raymond H. Boone, your neighbor. Oh! <laughs> Signed, well sincerely, 
Richmond's General Assembly. Yay! Now, I, I suppose this would be the time for some feedback, so if anyone has anything that they feel is important that we add or modify in this letter, now is the time because uh, this is very time sensitive. We're trying to get it to him tonight. So he has 24 hours. That means tomorrow we'll know something. Should we start a stack? Point of process. Uh, process. Should we not first vote on that we're actually going there? Before we craft the letter saying that we're going yeah. there? Like before we vote well, on the letter? Well, certainly. That's, that's why we're opening the floor now. Oh, okay. So, Sorry, yeah. I misunderstood. To both, to both, both ideas? both ideas. Okay. Okay. All right, so we're going to start stack. If we could get stack back here, can you guys pick me? Like we have a question right here. Yeah. Should I read that again? Yes. And obviously this is somewhat of a rough draft. We'll uh, kind of refine it and clean Should it up. Should we do a mic check for it? Yeah. Do you guys want to mic check this so yeah. we're all on the same page? Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, no? Yes. 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 <laughs> mic check? Mic, mic check! check. A message from the General Assembly. A message from the General Assembly that occupies Richmond. That, that occupies Richmond. Richmond. To Mayor Dwight Jones. To Mayor Dwight Jones. This is a formal notice. This is a formal notice that Richmond General Assembly is offering. That Richmond General Assembly is offering you. You. you 24 hours to respond to our demands. 24 hours to respond to our demands. Number one. Number one. We demand that you authorize. We, we demand, demand that you authorize the director of Richmond Department of Parks and Recreation. The director of Richmond's Park and Operation, <laughs> Dr. Norman Merrifield. Dr. Norman Merrifield to issue explicit documented permission. To issue explicit documented permission under his authority. Under his authority, pursuant to section. Pursuant to section. 26.397D 26.397D of Richmond City Code of Richmond City Code 2 2 This written authorization should This written authorization should explicitly permit Occupy Richmond explicitly permit Occupy Richmond to encamp 24 hours a day to encamp 24 hours a day 7 days a week 7 days a week Without incurring a violation. Without incurring a violation of the following ordinances. Of the following ordinances. Number one. Number one. Section 26-397A. Section 26-397A. The Richmond Sunset Clause. The Richmond Sunset Clause. Number two. Number two. Section 26-390. Section 26-390. The Richmond Anti-Encampment Ordinance. The Richmond Anti-Encampment Ordinance. Three. Three. This permission is to be issued in regards to location. This permission is to be issued in regards to location. X. X. Number four. Number four. If these demands are not granted. If these demands are not granted. Within 24 hours. Within 24 hours. We will indefinitely <coughs> occupy. We will indefinitely <coughs> occupy the private property. The private property to which we have been invited. To which we have been invited by the Richmond Free Press founder. By the Richmond Free, Free Press, Press founder, founder editor, 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 publisher, publisher, publisher civil rights champion, and civil rights champion, Mr. Raymond H. Boone. Mr. Raymond H. Boone. Your name. Your name. Signed. Signed. Richmond General Assembly. The Richmond General Assembly. All right, guys. So we have a lot to talk about with this. This is a long way from becoming our our plan. And there's a lot of kinks that we got to work out and discuss. So let's take that. Uh, William was already. We could get, yeah. well, we could get a line, a line for him back here. Oh, sorry. William. We had here for 40 minutes. You can go. Um, all right, my uh, my only thing. <laughs> my only things. things. For demands. For demands. Um, is to make sure. Is to make sure. That is very clear. That we're going to be continuing protests. That we're going to be continuing protests. And not just asking to camp. And not just asking to camp. And to make sure. And to make sure that the city knows. That the city knows. We will have future demands. We will have future demands from our government. From our government. Um, 
And you did say? And you did say? We're sending it to all press tonight? We're sending it to all press tonight. Is there any way? Is there any way? We can request? We can request? Porta potties. Porta potties. Out here. Out here. Just or wherever, yeah. Just to specify. Just to specify. This will be sent to. This will be sent to. The mayor's direct assistant. The mayor's direct assistant. Miss Tammy. Miss Tammy. With very obvious copies. With very obvious copies. To all the press. To all the press. Can we also put them on Facebook? It'll. Uh, there was a resolution. There was a resolution. Passed several weeks ago. Passed several weeks ago. That whenever a press release is made. That whenever a press release is made. <laughs> It is previously or simultaneously, it is previously or simultaneously released through all channels of communication within the movement. Released through all channels of communication within the movement. Nobody will be left in the dark on this. Nobody will be left in the dark on this. Ideally. Ideally. Uh, Ideally. Are there any other questions? Are there any other questions? I believe that we need to. I believe that we need to decide where that place X is. Decide where that place X is tonight. 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 Uh, I. Would like to recommend. I would like to recommend Canal Plaza. Canal Plaza for two reasons. For two reasons. One. One. The symbolism of us. Of us. The symbolism. The symbolism of us going back. Of us going back to where we first occupied. To where we first occupied. First kicked out of. First kicked out of. By force. By force. Will be huge. Will be huge. Two. Two. It will give the the homeless. It will give the homeless that are. Kicked out, kicked out, and still being kept out, and still being kept out, Canal Plaza, Canal Plaza, a way to return home, a way to return home, because then they can be considered, because then they can be considered one of us, one of us. <laughs> Well, it's not really a direct response, but it should also be noted. It should also be noted that location X. That location X doesn't need to be one spot. Doesn't need to be one spot. Richmond has lots of public parks. Richmond has lots of public parks. We should have full right to be in any of these public parks. We should have full right to be in any of these public parks. This is just something to keep in mind. This is just something to keep in mind. I'm personally fairly indifferent. I'm personally fairly indifferent. I had two. I have two, two concerns. concerns. Um, the first um, is that I would like to see more language included in the demand that would encompass um, the homeless community and their specific needs. I know we don't want to make it too, too broad. It's just supposed to be pretty simple, but I think maybe there's a way that we can work some of that in. Um, also, I'm not sure how I feel about this personally, but I want to kind of open the discussion about whether or not the public in general would be sympathetic to us actually going and occupying someone's front lawn. There's kind of an unspoken um, idea in our society, and maybe it's something we want to deconstruct, that um, home is private and it might be seen by the community at large as being too invasive and too militant a tactic. Just throwing it out there for idea, for discussion. Response to that. Um, I don't think that. I don't feel. I don't um, feel that being invited. That being invited, invited to someone's private property. To someone's, someone's private property will be an issue. Will be an issue. However, however, if we do decide, if we do decide to pursue this channel, to pursue this channel, we have to keep in mind. We have to keep in mind that it is someone's private property. That it is someone's private property that we are a guest of. That we are a guest of. And that these people, and that these people also have neighbors, also have neighbors that need to be respected. That need to be respected. respected. And just to clarify as a point of process, direct response is usually reserved for when a specific answer is, uh, when a question is asked, you can answer that question, otherwise get, uh, get in staff. Wow. Uh, yeah, what if we find out if those neighbors are on our side? Why check? What if we find out if those neighbors are on our side? Point of clarification is is to ask like a specific question, like um, to clarify what someone asked, as for questions to bring to um, to the General Assembly, you need to get in the staff. Uh, Mike check. Mike check. check. Jonathan. Jonathan. Kyle. I'm sorry. Kyle. Kyle. I don't want to speak for me. Because I can't talk well. I have some concerns. I have some concerns. 
about the letter. About the letter. Sounding. Sounding. A little bit caustic. A little bit caustic. And perhaps extortionary. And perhaps extortionary. So I would like to first. <laughs> I, would like I would like to first propose that we propose that we make the language make the language as firm as it is as firm as it is and try to make it a little bit more and try to make it a little bit more uh, graceful graceful so that so that we get our cross point across we get our point across but we don't have but we don't have something coming back to us something coming back to us. To say that we are being very abrasive. To say that we are being very abrasive. I think there's a way to craft language. I think there's a way to craft language. It will be just as forceful. That will be just as forceful. Just as demanding. And just as demanding. Without the risk. Without the risk of them having any possibility. Of them having any possibility of saying that we are. Of saying that we are being demanding and extortionary. Being demanding and extortionary. So I think. That I would like to just see propose. So I'd like to just see propose a few tweaks. A few tweaks. Thank you. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. Hold on. I just want to say. Is your lens? Oh. Yeah, we can't. It is in no way a caustic, caustic, that we unnecessarily demanding to demand your fucking rights. We. Excuse me. Hold on. Are you blocking your lead? Keep going. Because this is what that. Otherwise, That's not how it was addressed the first time I was here. Okay, All right. this is what this, I'm just letting you know. This is what it's for, and doing that to insert a pin right, real, real quickly, guys. Hey, I didn't think that we had to go over process. Apparently, we do. Uh, when, when we're when we are in general assembly, when, when we are in general assembly, we use specific hand motions. We use specific hand motions to get across to get across specific points. Specific points. You only use this sign. You only use this sign, which is point of clarification. Which is point of clarification to ask a specific, to ask a specific fact-oriented question. Fact-oriented question to the uh, speaker. To the speaker. That just spoke. That just spoke. I, I, I'm mean, about to say pretty much what you're saying. How can it be considered caustic and demanding to be demanding your rights? You're that not is not how you use point of stacked. clarification. If you have a point you want to make, please get stack. If you have a question to address, to propose to everyone here, you said to propose a question to the person who just spoke. Yeah, but it's yes, a as to that is a factual question. But not question. An a clarifying it's, question, not an opinion. Mike check. Mike check. Mike check. I don't think. I don't think that demands. That demands should be nice. Should be nice. I don't know about you guys. I don't know about you guys. They are pretty caustic. But they are pretty caustic. When they threw me into a car. When they threw me into a car. Secondly. Secondly. Secondly, secondly, I think, I think that the letter should say that the letter should say that we have the right that we have the right to camp anywhere to camp anywhere and that we should overturn and that we should overturn the ordinance the ordinance that closes parks that closes parks at sunset at sunset that is the demand that is the demand that is pretty demanding that is pretty demanding that we should make that we should make in my opinion in my opinion. Mike check. Mike check. Um, I would like. I would like. Um, to talk about. To talk about how the free press. What's how, his name? How the Ray free press. Ray Boone. Ray Boone. Ray Boone. Ray Boone has extended a hand. Has extended a hand. In his hospitality. In his hospitality. He writes a lot. He writes, he writes a lot about issues. About issues that are very relevant. That are very relevant. Um, in Richmond. In Richmond. I think, I think that we should, that we should offer, offer our bodies, our bodies to, protest to protest sympathetically, sympathetically for, his issues, for his issues, such as, such as the, Richmond City Jail, the Richmond City Jail going up, going up into, into uh, what neighborhood is it? The 17th Street. The 17th Street. <laughs> So, so, as uh, I think we should reach out our own hand. I think we should reach out our own hand. Ask him how he feels about certain issues. Ask him how he feels about certain issues. Give a platform to speak with us. Give a platform to speak with us about these relevant issues. About these relevant issues. 
and stand up and stand up in solidarity in solidarity with his mission with his mission, mission. all right i'm i'm going to try uh, yeah can i just make an ongoing clarification we're just trying to talk about the letter yeah i was just going to say um right now i think that um i think that what needs to be addressed first and foremost here is that we get on a common ground that uh, the letter that that we even want to do this. Uh, the, as to how we do it, um, this can be addressed afterwards, but can we see a quick sign of support? Do we, uh, yeah? I, I'm a little confused because I think, Elizabeth, correct me if I'm wrong, that you were putting in a reason to do it. Yeah, I yeah. think it's very, I think it's very relevant, and I think we should already be extending our hand in this way. Um, and whether or not we go into his yard, we need to uh, start talking to him. He has uh, a big voice and a big uh, newspaper that goes around town, and we can uh, get better feelings about us if we can talk um, about his issues with good information. So to hear him out and invite him to this space, I think is very important. Uh, two points of clarification. Um, we we have you, begun to meet with him. Hold on, hold on. Um, are you asking, are you, are you saying that we should use direct action for his issues and then for, redirect our direct action? For so some of his you, issues, yeah. The ones that, um, yes. Are like you, the jail they, going up, I know they need more be, bodies. Do you see where they can be concerned over one person directing our direct action? No, no, no. Yeah. I'm saying we do our direct actions our and take on his as well. We have a director spot. What? He, he had a point of clarification. But she answered it already? Right here? Um, it seems clear to me that our issues are issues of the community and his issues are also issues of the community so yeah. wouldn't they all really be our issues oh they are right. Right. no that's what i mean i just want to make sure that we hear him out because we may not be informed about all of those issues uh, and i think that it's very important for us to be informed about why he feels this is relevant to him Actually, can uh, we're going to move on to the next step person? Back. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Mic check. Mic check. I have a few concerns. I have a few concerns. That the demands to suspend certain city codes. That the demands to suspend certain city codes. Is not expansive enough. It's not expansive enough. For instance. For instance. We make no mention. We make no mention. To demand. To demand to suspend codes. To demand to suspend codes. Against unlawful assembly. Against unlawful assembly. Protesting without a permit. Protesting without a permit. Parading without a permit. Parading without a permit. And the plurality of laws, and the plurality of laws that, prevent us that prevent us from constructing infrastructure. From constructing infrastructure. I don't know if this is out of context or out of procedure or not. I actually have a response to that. Can you mic check it? Okay, I'll, I'll go on stack. Yeah, just go on stack. Point of process. Who's taking stack? Um, it would do us, I think, very well if we would have two stack takers because people are getting skipped over and it's really frustrating for those people. Right. But thank you, Kyle. You are, you're doing the best you can, Kyle. I, I recognize that. Do you like to get Oh, I was volunteering to take stack. Okay. You got it. Okay. No, I don't care. Does anyone have any questions? Right turn. I agree. Uh, Kit, I, is there, could there be like a temp check by the number of people who could possibly drive half an hour every time they want to go to the camp? I think that might drastically reduce the number of people who could be present, though it wouldn't necessarily have to be the only place that we are. A small group could be there. There's direct responses to non-questions. Does anyone... Am I being called on? Yeah, okay. Um, it's 7.2 miles from There could be a bus line. There could be a bus line. Apparently it's a 7.2 miles. Which, depending on route, which depending on route, doesn't necessarily equate to half an hour. Doesn't necessarily equate to half an hour. Um, 
I believe. I believe. I've heard them. A couple people say. I've heard a couple people say. And I will also work on this. I will also work on this. That shuttling. That shuttling is in the works. Is in the works. So hopefully we can get vans. So hopefully we can get scheduled times. Scheduled times. So at least have a presence there. So at least have a presence there. And we can also be doing. And we can also be doing lots of direct action stuff. Lots of direct action stuff. Because we'll have a place. Because we'll have a place without someone breathing down our neck. I have yet to hear where this place is. Where do we go? It's off we Walmsley Boulevard. Where, where is this guy's house? It's off Walmsley Boulevard. near where Walmsley Boulevard crosses underneath Chippenham Parkway. If that helps. South side. South side. South side. South side. Go down that way yes, until you get to Walmsley Boulevard and take a right. Then you will be able to Is it? Mike check. Mike check. Is it South Side? Is it South Side? Also part of Richmond. Also part of Richmond. Richmond. And as equally inaccessible to this part of Richmond. And as equally inaccessible to this part of Richmond. As this part of Richmond is to South Side. As this part of Richmond is to South Side. Yes, there are people everywhere in Richmond. Uh, as long as people in the city can make it down there, as long as shovels work out, I think that's awesome. I would like to hear um, language in the in the letter uh, specifying, since this will be sent to everyone and everyone may not know, the variety of ways, briefly, that we tried to do this without making demands, that we tried to negotiate with the city, we tried to do everything we could to do this the right way. We got spit in the face. Yeah. Did you still have a... Wait. Clarification. Okay, seeing as apparently there are already plans to... Was this to the previous speaker? Oh, uh, then you should get a stack. Hi, hi there. Hi there. For those of you who don't know, I'm actually from Atlanta. I just moved here. Um, I've actually I've been in contact. Mike check. Mike check. Mike check. I have been. I have been in contact with. In contact with the neighbors of. The neighbors of the people who are actually. The people who are actually occupying the police officers. Occupying the police officers. House who was foreclosed on. House who was foreclosed on. The majority of the neighbors. The majority of the neighbors fully supported them. Fully supported them. The reason they left yesterday. The reason they left yesterday was because of city law. Was because of city law. They did have the support. Of the neighborhood, though. They did have the support of the neighborhood, though. This seems like it may be a different neighborhood. This seems like it may be a different neighborhood. But I just wanted to tell you guys that. But I just wanted to tell you guys that. Mike Jack. Mike Jack. Mike Jack. On the issue of location X or Y. On the issue of location X or Y. I really like the symbolism of canal and returning there. I really like the symbolism of canal and returning there. I'm concerned about the nightmare aspect that we encountered. I'm concerned about the nightmare aspect that we encountered in managing that location. In managing that location. I like the sweetness of coming to Monroe. I like the sweetness of coming to Monroe. Because they spent so much money to keep us out. Because they spent so much money to keep us out. I think it might have less of a management issue. I think it might have less of a management issue. Regarding the in your facedness. Regarding the in your facedness. You can't put a law over my free speech. You can't put a law over my free speech. No time, nowhere, no how. No time, nowhere, no how. That weapon can be kept here. That weapon can be kept here. For another night. For another night. In your facedness, Lily Poochant. In your Gone peaceably wild in the streets. Gone peaceably wild in the streets. Tying Gulliver down. Tying Gulliver down. I suggest language. Language of our resolution. Language of our resolution. Match the graciousness of Ray Boone. Match the graciousness of Ray Boone. So that no one gets any misunderstanding. So that no one gets any misunderstanding. That we can do anything. That we can do anything. Anyway. Anyway. With grace. With grace. With determination. With determination. With righteous rage. With righteous rage. Language is important. Language is important. Thank you, Alex. A thought. Uh, Mike check. Mike check. 
My concern, my concern, with the letter, with the letter, is that we are threatening, that we are threatening, to personally inconvenience, to personally inconvenience the mayor, the mayor, and we are hoping, and we are hoping, that will affect, that will affect, his policy making, his policy making, as opposed, as opposed to, as a politician, as a politician, who is concerned, who is concerned, with the policy making, his policy making, as a politician, as a politician. He probably should. He probably should. And wants to appear to. And wants to appear to have a separation. Have a separation between his personal life. Between his personal life and his policy. And his policy. So maybe viewed as unprofessional. So maybe viewed as unprofessional for him to bow to our pressure. For him to bow to our pressure. As is a personal pressure. As is a personal pressure. That's all. That's all. Election year. I believe, I believe that if we use, that if we use uh, Boone's gracious extension of uh, his property, Boone's of his property as a bargaining chip, as a bargaining chip, we may possibly, we may possibly forego the opportunity, forego the opportunity of just being there anyway, of just being there and anyway. sitting out on the mayor's front step, and sitting out on the mayor's front step anyway, regardless, anyway, regardless of whether or not he caves to our demands, of whether or not he caves to our demands. It will take the time of us sitting there. It will take the time of us sitting there before he begins to check the reality of what it means to have Occupy in his front step. Before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, like, yeah. That's. Okay. All right. Do you have a, uh, where you want to get set? Um. You had a question. Yeah. No, don't worry about it. All right. I'm gonna try and talk loud enough. If everyone can't hear, give me the sign. But I'm. I think you should make it. Mic check. Mic check. Mike check. I'm under the impression, I'm under the impression that, this we're sending, that this list of demands we're sending is going to be met with very ill response. It's going to be met with very ill response. And is also coming with this kind of ultimatum. It's also coming with this kind of ultimatum. And I don't know about you guys, but personally, and I don't know about you guys, but personally, I don't respond very well to ultimatums. I don't respond very well to ultimatums. And in fact, we usually want to do more so the opposite. And in fact, we usually want to do more so the opposite. I think, I, I think it lessens the. Um, mic check. Mic check. Uh, soon we're gonna cut off stack. Soon we're gonna cut off, cut off stack now, rather. We're going to break up into groups and determine do we want to take his offer? Uh, not uh, the details as to, um, as to language and location, um, and, but those can be, those will, those can be determined tonight. But those can be determined tonight. All right. Exactly. I mean, personally, yeah. Please stop cutting people off. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, personally, personally, I think it's a really good idea, and I support it. I think it's a really good idea, and I support it. But I think it kind of lessens the urgency of a demand. But I think it kind of lessens the urgency of a demand. If it comes along with, well, if and or when you don't meet this demand. If it comes along with, if and or when you don't meet this demand. I think I said my piece. Mic check. Mic check. Um, I love this idea. I love this idea. And letter. And letter. My biggest concern. My biggest concern is that I've never met Ray Boone. Is that I've never met Ray Boone. And he didn't bring this to GA. And he didn't bring this to GA. I'm sure his intentions are good. I'm sure his intentions are good. And his ideas are in line with this project. And his ideas are in line with this project. Um, I just. I don't want the group to be rash. I just don't, don't want the group to be rash. In their decision making, our decision making, and our decision making, and that's it. And that's it. Uh, Mike Jack. Mike Jack. In regards, in regards to the professional nature, to the professional nature, or more so, or more so, the unprofessional nature, the unprofessional nature of making an ultimatum, of making an ultimatum. While I think. While I think it is important to be civil. It is important to be civil. We should remember. We should remember that, that this movement, this movement, the oppressive forces, the oppressive forces, they're oppressing us personally. They're oppressing us personally. It's not just in a political arena. It's not just in a political arena. So I don't think we should be afraid. So I don't think we should be afraid of making a strong statement. Of making a strong statement. Or ultimatums. Or ultimatums.
just just so just so the powers that be the powers that be will have will have a supposed leverage supposed leverage or reasons or reasons to not follow our orders to not follow our orders we are the people we are the people and we have the fucking power we and we have, have the power. power we have the power sorry hey <laughs> I'm Teddy Parham. I've got some good news. Got some good news. And the first thing I want you all to think about is we need to stop repeating ourselves. The police drive this car. They have microphones. They have mic check. Mic check. Mic check. First of all, first of all, the perimeter around this park. The perimeter around this park. When the police ride, they have microphones and they have cameras. When the police ride, they have microphones they have They cameras. know every move we make. They know every move we make. And we have to be smart because they can be very dangerous. And we have to be smart because they can be very dangerous. And we don't want any of you to go down to that deadly jail. And we don't want any of you to go down to that deadly jail. That is a place of death. That is a place of death. If you're on medication, if you're on medication that you need to have daily, that you need to have daily, they won't necessarily give it to you. They won't necessarily give it to you. I have friends that have died there. I have friends that have died there. But back to Ray Boone. But back to Ray Boone. Now, he is a personal friend of mine. He is a personal friend of mine. And Chris Dorsey. And Chris Dorsey. And he is donating his land for us to use. And he's donating his land for us to use. With no attachment. With no attachment. He wants us to come out peacefully. He wants us to come out peacefully. Set up your tents. Set up your tents. Leave your supplies. Leave your supplies. And come back into the inner city and do what we have to do. And come back to the inner city and do what we have to do. Now. Man. He lives next door. He lives next door to Dwight Jones. To Dwight Jones. They have been friends forever. They have been friends forever. But like he said, but like Dwight he said, Jones has to um, help the people. Mike Jones has to help the people. Anytime he is supporting a handful of people and lifting them up and, and turn so many down. Anytime, Anytime he is lifting up, we have to pull together. <laughs> we, we have to, to take together. this seriously. Um, no more mic check. We have to take this seriously. We have to get our supplies together. We need trailers. And you guys have done a great job at calling City Hall. Don't be rude. At calling City Hall and um, having Monday night, um, you sold out the list. No more phone calls. You all even jammed the system up with the flash calling, which was fantastic. I say we take Ray Boone up on this, but on the other hand, we need to start walking around Dominion Power. They are getting ready to start up that nuclear reactor in Louisa County. And when the wind blows, all of that can tear us down, kill us. Okay, well, I'm just, all right. Well, I just suggest that you take Ray Boone up. He, Chris Dorsey and I are working on transportation issues. Somebody has a bus that we can curb people in and out. I'm going to say this whether I never speak again, okay? You can roll your boat all you want to. So, anyway, I just want you all to know that this man is serious. He wants us to be there and be peaceful. If the police are called, you do what you think you want to do. But he is giving us somewhere out of the city where you don't have to worry about grabbing everything and having teams of people to tear things down. If we can find a home, we're supposed to be a weld oil machine. That's the way this movement works, should work. And Mr. Boone can help us, and there are others that are willing to come out. The paper just came out Friday. He's going to help us all. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Hey guys. Hey guys. My name's Claire. My name's Claire. I'm stepping in as moderator. I'm stepping in as moderator. I'm cold. I'm cold. We have some really interesting things. We have some really interesting things. Josh is going to address. Josh is going to address. Um, what has been said so what far? Has been said so far. If your point has already been stated. If your point has already been stated. Please let that remain.
is stated. Please let that remain as stated. And don't repeat it. And don't repeat it. Because your point's been stated. Because your point's been stated. I am. I am. A stickler for process. A stickler for process. I'm sorry if I come across. I'm sorry if I come across. Bossy. Bossy. That's going to happen. That's going to happen. I want to get this through. I want to get, get this through. through. After Josh. After Josh. Uh, presents what he's heard. Presents what he's heard. From the group. From the group. We're going to break into small groups. We're going to break into small groups. Yeah, absolutely. We're not done with Stack. We're not done with Stack. I just wanted to introduduce myself. I just wanted to introduce myself. As the new moderator. As the new moderator. Can we do a temp check on you being moderator? Yes, absolutely. Tip check. I don't care. I'll just make it short. Any opposed? Any opposed? Hey, Were we will announce that. Do you have Facebook? Yeah. It'll be on Facebook. Okay. How many more things? Four. And or have any of your concerns been yet passed? Let him talk, and then we can Are you sure? step yeah. out if, if they haven't. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Fine. Great. Okay. Is everyone okay with me readdressing what's been brought up and perhaps clarifying a few things I forgot to bring up? Yes. Cool. All right. Number one. Um, Ray Boone wishes he could have been here today. He made that very clear to us in the board meeting, but he's like the editor and publisher of a paper, and he had a deadline today at 4 to deal with, um, as well as other things to attend to as the editor and publisher. So he wishes he could have been here to make this statement and offer on his own, but he made the, the public offer through the paper just simply giving us a place where we can occupy because the city is preventing us from occupying anywhere. And because he does believe that all these issues are intersectional between our movement and the issues he brings up in his paper, he simply wanted to create a space for free speech that we could use since the city is not allowing that. And it just so happens to be really convenient that it's across the street from Dwight Jones, which makes a really profound statement anyway. Um, and in reference to the potentially uh, demanding and caustic language, the whole point of this is to issue demands. It's time that the statement or that the group as a whole starts getting a little bit of backbone seems seemed to be the idea behind that. And that if we continue to give them any room for leeway or any room to hold the process up, as we've seen, they will continue to delay, 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 and hold the process up further. So those are just a few points of clarification. And then to summarize what I have heard as a little food for thought, can everyone hear me okay? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so it, it had been suggested that as follows. We continue, or we include the language that we will continue to protest and have future demands. Um, that we should maybe ask for porta potties if we come back into the city. Um, but then again, that's asking the city for financial resources, which may be something to do later. Um, we really just need the space. Um, it's been suggested that Canal would be a good spot because it's symbolic and it represents the reoccupation. Um, it's been suggested that we include some language about the homeless population. Um, but I should also add that wherever we go, we will attract homeless people, which is okay because they need to eat. They need blankets. They need sleeping bags. And wherever we're at, they will come to us for those things and we will provide them with those things because this is a movement about humanity and everyone is human and we are here to take care of each other. Um, so also uh, work in the language uh, that we maybe want to overturn the sunset clause. Personally, I think that might be um, a little bit much at this point, but I think that we all agree that the sunset clause should be overturned immediately, though I'm not opposed to that. Um, Clarification, Josh. Uh, I'm just, I'm just, yeah, okay. One of the things that Ray Boone pointed out to us, you no, know, it's a clarification on the thing you just made, was to, to keep it simple and potent and don't make a five-layer cake because control the news cycles. And tomorrow we can say something, and the next day we say the okay. next strategy-wise. Cool. Um, so that was a very important point to make as well. This is intended to be very concise. Um, I think that demand is can also... I, can, can, I, can I just summarize real quick? And we do have a stack going. And also I should point out it's getting room. dark, yep. and they will yes. kick us out at dark. They will. It's getting yeah. cold, too. Um, so to, to request that they... Or to demand that they suspend uh, parading and protesting permit requirements, because we're going to parade and we're going to protest anyway. Fuck yeah. That's what we're here to do. Um, 
to mention, and, and I think that this is very important personally, that we mention that we have tried to proceed through the avenues available to us. We've tried. You've oppressed us. You're silencing free speech. Stop it! Um, um, that this is a personal issue, that if we go onto the, uh, the property across the way, that this would be encouraging to him to include his personal values into his political decisions. But I think it's also important to be aware that this is clearly personal because he's going outside of the law to suppress our free speech. That sounds like personal investment in his political decisions. Um, that is it bad to issue an ultimatum? That some people don't respond well to ultimatums. That's something to keep in mind. And yeah, that's all. Thanks. Uh, clarification? Uh, yeah. Uh, mic check. Mic check. check. Are we aware? Are we aware? That irregardless of our personal feelings, that irregardless of our personal feelings, that the sun has went down, that the sun has went down, and that all of us are under threat of being arrested. And that all of us are under threat of being arrested. Whether you take that decision upon yourself, whether you take that decision upon yourself, your personal choice, I must leave, I must leave, because I cannot be arrested again. Bye, sir. Hey guys, I need you to move in. I need, I need you to move, move in. in. So we can all hear each other. So we can all hear each other. Work, work this through quickly. Work this through quickly. quickly. If we have to, if we have to, we'll move to the compass. We'll move to the compass. This is extremely important. This, this is extremely, extremely important. important. It's one of the most pertinent things we ha we have done so far. It's, it's one, one of the most pertinent things we've done so far. It's really cool. It's, it's really, really cool. cool. So let's work through it quickly. We can do this. <laughs> we have. We yeah. have a stack of three left. A stack of three left. That haven't yet finished. That haven't yet finished. We're cutting off stack at that point. We're cutting off stack at that point. To quickly. To quickly. Within five minutes. Within five minutes. Work through. Work through. Work through. In small groups. In small groups. Concerns. Concerns. And whether or not. And whether or not. We think this letter. We think this letter. Um, with the concerns met, with the concerns met, met, we'll go out tonight. We'll go out tonight. And that we will move. And that we will move. To his property, to his property. If, these if these demands aren't met. Demands aren't met. Um, Mic check. Mic check. check. Also notice, also notice. There, are there are lots of people in the park on that side. It would be selective enforcement. It would be selective enforcement for them to arrest us and not them. They'll probably ask us to leave before they come in with cuffs. They'll probably ask us to leave before they come in with cuffs. Don't be afraid. Don't, Don't be afraid. Be afraid. All right, let's Two things. Two things. Two things. First. First. I think we could, I think we could, without breaking into groups, without breaking into groups, get a sense of, get a sense of, if people are okay with the current language, which might be a little demanding, might be a little demanding, as one option, as one option, or a second option, or a second option, option, to make it a little less demanding, to make it a little less demanding. That vote could occur very quickly. That vote could occur very quickly. Right now. Right now. Secondly, secondly, as someone who spoke to Ray Boone today, as someone who spoke to Ray Boone today. I think we need to take our time with the potential occupation of his yard. And it should be abdicated from this letter. And it should be abdicated from this letter. We can allude to other possibilities. We can allude to other possibilities. We don't need to specifically state that we intend to occupy his yard. That we intend to occupy his yard. He knows. One reason being that's something we'll have to vote on. One reason being that's going to take time anyway. That's going to take time anyway. And I appreciate everyone that talked to him today and. I think I have a direct response. Yeah, direct response, and specifically, Mr. Boone stated that he wants us to act on this immediately. We have the momentum in our court right now, so he wants us to get on this 24 hours. Um, also, to what else you spoke of? What did you say? The language. Oh, the language. Yes, he uh, was actually in favor of it being demanding. <laughs> While I understand that, that is. One person. We actually have power on our side this time, so let's use it. My interpretation, My interpretation. From, talking him, from talking to him, and I'm unfortunate that it happened at a different time. It's unfortunate that it happened, it happened, at, happened at a different time. time. I was delivering stuff on behalf of Education Outreach. I was delivering stuff on behalf of Education Outreach. But I interpreted from him. But I interpreted from him. 
not to rush the physical occupation of his land. Not, not to rush, rush the physical occupation of his land. land. Although I agree. Although I agree. About the other part you said. About, about the, the other, other part, part you said. That we need to. That we need to. Step up. Step up. up. And put pressure on. And put, put pressure, pressure on. on. Thank you. Yep. Guys, short and sweet. Short and sweet, sweet. Let's finish it up. Okay. Um, this, this proposal was rather new to me. This, this proposal, proposal was rather new to me. And I think it would be a good idea. And I think it would be a good idea. If we slept on it. If we slept on it. Because right now. Because right now. The mayor's office isn't open. The mayor's office isn't open. So he wouldn't even get the letter until tomorrow anyway. So he wouldn't even get the letter until tomorrow anyway. I think we should have a meeting early in the morning. I think we should have a meeting early in the morning. To, to. To finish the letter. Because I don't know how I, how I feel about the demands. I don't, I don't know, know how I feel about the demands. Okay. That's really hard. Okay. One more step. To remind, remind. remind a lot of this stuff, a lot of this stuff can, quickly, can quickly 20 seconds, 20 seconds, 20 seconds be, said, be said in your small groups. In your small groups. So everyone is an idea, so an idea, idea of serious concerns, of serious to, concerns bring to bring back. Minimal serious concerns. Minimal, Minimal serious concerns. I just want to say, I just I just want want to say that Occupy Wall Street, that that Occupy Wall Street, Street is occupying a park, is is occupying occupying a park that is privately owned. That is privately owned. Um, so if anyone has any concern, so so anyone has any concern, concern about that, that uh, not to worry about that. Not, not to worry about, about that. that. And, okay. Um, and, okay, yeah, that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Break into groups. Break into, Break into groups. Of about five to ten. About five, five to ten. ten. So like eight-ish. Eight-ish. Okay, and then talk. My check. My check. check. And talk about. And talk about the letter going out tonight. The letter going out tonight. Your main concerns of the letter. Your main concerns of the letter. Pick a point person for your group. Pick a point person for your group. And get it stacked. Get it stacked as quickly as possible. As quickly as possible. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. check. One more thing. One more thing. To keep in mind. To keep in mind. Just playing devil's advocate. Just playing devil's advocate. This very well might be a bad idea. This very well might be a bad idea. The paper has. The paper has. Advertisements from. Advertisements from. Dominion Power. Dominion Power. Just for transparency. Just for transparency. I want everyone to be aware of that. I want everyone to be aware of that. Thank you. Small group, I got it.